Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up OBS 2022. Actually, also going to go over the basics, then I'm going to go into the settings. You have to have a scene, so you do right click and click art. You can name it whatever you want. And then you can right click here in sources, do art, and you can add basically what you want. So I'm always doing display capture because I'm always capturing my display. But in your case, if you're going to do something else like a game capture, you're obviously going to choose game capture. Important is that you have to have the game running so that you can actually select it and uh, then it will appear here in the preview zone but make sure that if you're doing a game that actually the game is running and selected and of course you have the other options here so as you can see here it's my audio i have desktop audio and this is for my microphone obviously right here you have a couple of basic things like start streaming or start recording which are pretty obvious it's just to start to, yeah doing streams or recording virtual camera something with obs integrated so that you can actually use obs as a video source in other software like for example zoom so you can actually just use this as a video source or webcam so that's a nice little addition studio mode is just yeah, as usual to preview to preview your own recording but anyway we're going to go into settings here so here we have the general settings uh, mostly preferences like language that i put on english the dark theme and some other pretty small details but if you want to copy them there's no problem you can always look for yourself the output, so we have here, I'm going to go to recording because I'm only going to do free recording in this video. The output mode I always have on advanced, that's pretty important. Type standard, also very important, so be sure that's on type standard. The recording path, it is something that you prefer, but I actually made an OBS recordings file so that I know that they all go there when I save them. Recording format is also very important. Uh, I have it on MP4 always, because most software, if it be the editing software or something else, pretty much can always read mp4 and it's the most read also video format so i can always definitely advise to use that audio track as i said i have two i have one selected here but first audio track which is everything from windows sounds to music basically coming from a computer and the second one being my microphone the encoder i have it on x264 because i don't have a graphics card people who have a graphics card obviously going to choose their graphics card here since i don't have one in my laptop it's just going to be x264 so if your computer also doesn't have it then it's a pretty low-end computer i'd also definitely advise it to you to put it on x264 which output it's not selected but make sure it's on 920 by 1080 that's every video and thumbnail on youtube rate control cbr uh, that's what I always put and then on 50,000 kbps here's something that's definitely important and a little detail about this is that you have to always put it on ultra fast even if you have a slower low-end computer make always sure that this is on ultra fast because my computer is not really the fastest either but I always make sure it's on ultra fast because you can see it's higher so you have less cpu profile high even on a low-end computer will you be able to put high so you also have an audio tab here for the track one and track two I put them all on 320 so at least I'm good but we're going to go to the actual audio tab here all right, so here in the audio tab above here is pretty important. You have the sample rate, which is 48 kilohertz. Then you have channels always on stereo. And so as I said here, I have the desktop audio, which is basically my speakers. You have a microphone. I actually use VoiceMeet, which is a software that will make your voice better. So I actually use that as my source, but otherwise you will just put your microphone here. For the rest, nothing really to add here. So we can go over to the video tab. So here you have 920 by 1080 for both of them here in the resolution. Or of course, aspect ratio 16 by 9. And then still use the downscale filter of Lenses sharpened scaling 36 samples and 60 FPS, of course, at least nowadays. And then we go into the hotkeys. Hotkeys is purely to choose a button to start streaming for example or recording so that's just a quick button you can use to do different actions within obs but it's optional obviously and then in advanced process priority you can put it on high the renderer is direct 3d 11 always choose that color format nv12 color space and the color range should be full actually make sure it's on full because i did half sometimes and the whole screen was a little bit darkish so always make sure that the color range is actually on full, that's really important. And then for the rest here, nothing too much to worry about. And then of course at the end, make sure you click on apply at every tab and click OK. But OK, that's it. And then of course, lastly, if the right display selected, so I have my primary monitor, which is only one, 920 by 1080. And of course, always make sure that your screen is also fit to screen so that you're recording your entire screen here in the preview zone. But that was it, guys. In any case, thanks you guys for watching. Leave a like would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.